All right, so if the flame is lit, why is the stove still trying to ignite? So this is why I would just never buy a day four appliance because this is insane. And now my kitchen reeks of gas. Hey, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist. In today's video, I'm going to show you the next room of my house that I'm gonna tackle for my home makeover project this summer. I'm also gonna give you some updates for some older projects I've been working on for a while, and I'm gonna share my shopping experience with Restoration Hardware. So let's get started. All right, so I'm so excited to be showing you guys my second story loft, and this is an area that needs some love and attention. I don't really use this space a lot, and it's kind of like the home of my leftover furniture, um, but it is a common area of my home, and it definitely needs a little TLC. One of the first things I'm gonna do in this area, of course, is to paint, and actually my husband has already gotten started putting some primer up on the walls. I definitely do not like this tan color. This is the same color that I had downstairs in my home. So this color was all throughout the common areas of the home and so it definitely needs a refresh. Now upstairs in the second story, I don't have overhead lighting. I have to light the whole area with lamps and it can get kind of dark and drab down here. So I definitely wanna make sure that I create a brighter, more inviting space. And I'm also trying to keep this very cost effective because this is not an area of my home that I use very often. And I am gonna keep this couch that's here um, now this is a couch that I purchased from Ashley's years ago. It's not my favorite piece. It's definitely not a high quality piece, but it's super comfortable. And for right now, because this space is more of a low priority, I just want to give it a little bit of a refresh just to make it flow with the rest of the house. So I'm thinking if I just paint this area, switch out the rug and put in a couple of pieces of art, I can really get it looking a lot better. And I think that will definitely be good enough for now. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys around some other parts of the house and give you a little bit of an update, show you what it's looking like now and kind of share with you some of the ups and downs that I've gone through. And I have a little bit of a confession to make. This is actually the second house that I've owned. But in my first house, I really didn't have a lot of resources and I didn't live in it for very long because I wound up having to move to relocate for my husband's job. So I never got that first house fully furnished. So this is my first attempt at fully furnishing a house. And my first house was also a lot younger than this one. So it really didn't need any work. So this is my first time having to do any kind of renovation work, um, doing any changes and stuff like that. So I did not realize how much I was taking on when I kind of started this journey. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the things that I've learned. Now this is my bay window area. I love the sunroom and I think it's just an incredible space to have and I love all the natural sunlight. I thought about using this area as my second home office because my husband does work um, from time to time in the front of the house and um, we tried testing it out for a couple of weeks. He would sit here, I'd sit in the office and vice versa and we tried to figure out if we can have two work areas on the main level um, even though we have this open floor plan. And what wind up happening is there was just too many of a sound issue and whenever he was on the phone he could hear me and vice versa so um, we just decided to go back to making this sunroom a seating area so um, I kind of know what I want to do I'm going to insert a picture for what I'm ultimately going to do in this space but this um, is a low priority area and what I'm looking to do is a little bit on the expensive side some of those armchairs are at least 250 a piece if you can get it for that price I mean um, and so it's going to take me probably two thousand dollars to really get that bay window done the way I want it to um, and because it's not an area I use very often it's just a low priority and right now I'm going to leave my glass top table because I use a lot of my tablescapes uh, I film over there so the other side of my um, sunroom, this is my actual kitchen table that I purchased specifically for this house. And I bought it because I like the way it looked with my um, office furniture, so I thought it would be really great. Um, the thing about this area is I got the dining bench, the church pew on one side of the kitchen table, and my husband picked it out, and so we really loved it. So I was looking for a backless dining bench to put on this side because I wanted whoever was sitting on the dining bench to be able to spin around and converse with who 
whoever was in the kitchen. So I thought it would be really nice to kind of have two benches, um, but a different style of bench on each side of the table. And I had found one at Haverty's. And when I first saw it um, shortly before I closed in the house, it was going for $3.99. And then when I got um, my money together to go get it, it had gone up to $4.69. And I was like, I don't want to pay an extra $70. So let me just wait and wait for it to come back down. But so far it is still um, at an increased price. So I don't know if they just had a price hike during the pandemic or what, but for right now, I'm just gonna have to wait on the dining bench or see if I can't find another one. I'm super disappointed because this is another area where I do film a lot and I just wanted this area completed. Um, and so it just is what it is. Um, so now let's go over to the kitchen. This is the Stonington Gray in the kitchen. Now I love the way the Stonington Gray looks in the sunroom, but for some reason in the kitchen, it looks slightly purple, especially up here by the soffits. And I'm not sure if it's the fluorescent lighting that's doing that or what, I'm just not sure. So leave a comment in the box below if you see a slight purple cast on the paint, or if you see gray, just let me know whether or not you see purple or gray in the, just, um, in the comment section below. So the other thing I want to talk about um, that I kind of encountered during this kitchen was the light fixture. I thought I was going to just be able to take out this fluorescent light fixture and replace it with a different um, light fixture. But when I was talking to my husband about it, we he saw the fixture that I wanted to put in. And then he told me pretty much I can't have it um, the way the kitchen is now because this fluorescent light fixture, even though I don't like it, it gives off a lot of light and it really illuminates the whole kitchen. The pendant that I'm looking at doesn't have um, as many light bulbs on it and the type of light bulbs used are not going to be nearly as bright so I'm going to have to get recessed lights installed in the kitchen. So we did have one contractor come in um, during the week and he still hasn't sent us the written quote yet but I'm going to um, talk to at least four contractors before I make a decision and then I will have recessed lights installed along the kitchen and then once I have additional lighting in then I'll change it out and put a pretty light fixture in the center of the kitchen. So that's something that I learned that I was not thinking about. I was just looking at what light was pretty and, you know, letting my husband know that I was going to purchase it so he can install it. So he pumped the brakes on that one. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm glad that uh, he pointed it out to me because I would not have known. Um, to look for that and I wasn't even thinking about how much light um, the kitchen was giving off so I'm just glad that um, he stopped me from making that huge mistake um, and probably two weeks or so I am going to take one of these um, kitchen um, doors off or maybe a door from a different vanity and I'm going to try to see if I can't get some of the yellowing off of the kitchen. So one of the things that I learned about white cabinets is sometimes they can yellow just like appliances and so then you've got to figure out how to kind of get that yellowing off of your white cabinetry. So I'm going to have to start doing a materials test because whatever I use to clean the cabinets, I don't want it to um, damage the finish. And if I can't clean it, then I'm going to just try to get someone to come in and just paint over it if I can get it painted. So that's a whole nother thing. But um, that's another thing I don't like about the way the kitchen looks with the paint because the cabinets look just slightly yellow. Um, and it might not be as visible in this light, but in person, you can definitely see that it's slightly yellow. So the next thing that happened to me in this kitchen, which is so disappointing, is my decor double oven set. So I was so excited about um, the way the kitchen is laid out because I was like, you know, I can change out my appliances when they go down, but I don't have to do it all at one time. So the double ovens, I thought when I first saw it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And decor is one of those high end luxury appliance brands. But then I started having problems with my oven and um, the after shortly after we moved in the house, the second oven went out and my husband had researched it. He ordered the part, he fixed it and it started working again. Everything was great. Well, shortly after we started painting, the second oven went out again. And so you can go through the panel and you can set the heat and it's going to make noise. The convection fan is going to come on, but it is not going to heat up. So now I have out of my two ovens, only one works. So I'm still fortunate because I do have a working oven and that's fine. 
but it's just that my second oven doesn't work. So eventually I'm going to have to replace it. And I initially thought that this double oven set was going to last for a lot longer. So I was not even putting it in my budget to even touch the ovens. And so now it's one of those things that I've got to save up for. And so now what I thought was going to be as simple as changing out a countertop is going to be significantly more expensive. What I can say is that the previous homeowner left us a book and she has like a log of all the service calls she has had for everything in the house and unfortunately she had issues with this decor oven and now we're having issues with it so when I get ready to replace it I am not gonna buy a decor appliance I do not recommend it based on the experience that I've had in this house so far and so that brings me to the stove because the stove is also a decor cooktop and it's gas and I'm having issues with it too all right so watch this closely I'm gonna show you guys what is going wrong with my decor gas cooktop all right, so on this one, we heard the ticking, but there was no flame. You didn't miss it. There was just no flame. So now let's try a different knob. So we got a flame the second time, but the ticking didn't stop after the stove ignited and it's still giving off a lot of gas. And the same thing happened here. The flame ignited, but it's still ticking and we just had to turn it off. And again, you hear the ticking, you hear the gas, but we don't have a flame. And on the last attempt, we actually have a flame and it lit properly and stopped ticking. But I have to tell you, at this point, my kitchen reeks of gas. So at this point, this is what it's like every time I have to cook. I'm super frustrated. And when it's time for me to replace these appliances, I'm not even going to consider another decor appliance after what I'm experiencing here. All right, so with everything going on in my kitchen, I feel like my kitchen is completely falling apart. So at this point, I'm really looking for some easy wins. I'm gonna take you guys over to my um, dining room and my home office where I have these really large windows. Now, I put out a video a while ago where I was shopping for curtains and some curtain rods. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. You should definitely check out that video. I did a restoration hardware shop with me and I did order some curtain rods for these windows. However, I'm not going to lie. The key word here is defeat. Okay. I just feel defeated right now. And I just feel like nothing is going right in my, my entire life. So <sighs> yes. So now I'm going to just refresh your memory a little bit about the curtain rods. I ordered curtain rods back in April from Restoration Hardware. It's my first Restoration Hardware purchase. I was so excited about it, but I knew that there were going to be some delays due to the pandemic. Um, I know the supply chain is totally messed up right now. So I was prepared to wait from April until July 20th or so is about when they quoted that all the components to my curtain rods would arrive. So I had the center brackets, the, um, I guess the corner brackets and the rod that were supposed to arrive. And then of course the finial. Now the finial is the best part. It's the part that's cute. And so that's the part that I was waiting for it to come before I did an unboxing. And then I was going to get the curtains in and then kind of um, pick up with the whole window drapery um, series and kind of show you guys a little bit more of my journey. Um, so after waiting for a few months, I got an email letting me know that the finials are delayed and that they were not going to arrive until October. So at this point, I'm like six months for curtain rods. Are you kidding me? Restoration hardware, six months for some curtain rods to get the complete thing. So I just decided to go ahead and return them just to cancel the finial order because, you know, at this point, it just seems like it's more trouble than it's worth. And, you know, I'm trying to progress and finish some things around my house. So so now I'm back at the drawing board with the curtain rods and um, I guess next week when I do some of my virtual shop with me's and kind of showing you guys some of the things I'm considering ordering online, I'm going to show you guys the curtain rods. I'm also going to show you um, the gas ranges that I am checking out. Um, along with uh, double ovens at this point because now that's on the list. Um, I could say the only highlight to my week is that when I had um, the guy come in and give me um, an estimate for the um, 
recessed lights in the kitchen he also was going to prepare a quote to do a junction box in my home office so I can have overhead lighting installed because I am still you know kind of searching for lighting um, for the entire um, lower half of the house so that's kind of what's going on in my life right now um, I wish that I could give you a better update and, you know, more exciting news, but that's just not the way the cookie crumbled. And, you know, I watch a lot of YouTubers. One of the people I like to watch um, is Raven Elise. She has a beautiful home that she had built, but she's still been doing stuff around her house for the last two years and her house is brand new. So at least to some extent, um, I feel a little bit more encouraged, but, you know, people like me who like to get things done, like to cross things off my list and get these projects completed. Completed, I find right now it is just a struggle so I definitely kind of wanted to share with you guys some of the things I've been through some of the things I've learned and if anybody else is out there still doing things to their house and it's just not going well you are definitely not the only one so that is my word of encouragement <laughs> for this week um, I will see you guys next week and I hope to God that by next week something else would have arrived been installed or <laughs> whatever I'm hoping next week to at least be more optimistic and less defeated but you know um, that is the life that I'm living right now and I'm just sharing that with you guys. So I'm Danielle the Domestic Scientist. If you liked today's video be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.